Today I'm testing three flying machines that I made on my home printer. All of these flying machines are printed out of PETG and this one is the heaviest at 107 grams. One thing I'd like you to do is try to think about which one might fly the highest. Now this one is the heaviest but it also has the smallest diameter compared to some of the others I've got here. So will this uh, ducted inlet that features uh, on this one help it out? Will it fly any higher with that? Will it why not as high with that? I don't know. So let's put on the launch rail and find out. Picture of our launch guy. <laughs> oh, bless Pretty good. <laughs> this cone comes in at 75 grams. It has fins that are straight. They're not twisted or anything like that. This is the widest of the two, of the three rather. Uh, yep, widest of the three. <laughs> so, will that help with the stability? Let's put this on the rail and find out too. Three, two, one, bless all. Catch this one. Look at that, right straight up. <laughs> the last example. The uh, fin-like area is sort of uh, slanted, so it will spin as it goes. Will that help propel it higher? Will that make it not go quite as high? And uh, also it has the, a retainer on the back of it. Now the retainer is printed separately, and uh, I printed this at 2% smaller because it seemed to fit kind of loose. Also, I put a smaller end on it there, kind of like a plastic washer to help retain the motor better. Now, that is not required. It just looks kind of cool on there. I like the way it looks with the retainer on there. You can fly it without the retainer, and it flies just as well. But anyways, let's put this one on the launch rod and see what happens. See if it reaches the maximum altitude. Okay, on your count down there, Paul. You ready now? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, blast. That was really fun. That pretty. Ooh, that's way out there. Uh-oh. Keep down. going, keep going. Stay out of the water. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, just a couple of comments here. One thing I'd like to point out is that this particular model with the ducted vents in it, it, it came down a little bit fast for my comfort and it came in at kind of an angle like that. So with all of these, you have to keep an eye on them. They are tumble recovery, and uh, I could change the balance of it, my, maybe by moving the motor forward or backward a little bit or something like that, and see if that causes it to uh, tumble down like this. I'm not really sure. I'll have to give it a couple of tries and see what happens. All of them were launched with a D12, and all of them are printed on Pet G. So the winner of the altitude contest was the Whirl and Hurl. And yes, uh, that is the name of it. I did not name it that. It's uh, a fun design and with a fun name. So anyways, make sure you fly these uh, in a mild wind, just uh, a low wind, like five miles an hour or less on a calm day. And uh, that way you'll have a more enjoyable flight and you won't have to go quite as far to retrieve them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.